Hello, good morning, welcome back to the sewing room. Today we're just working on a simple little project because I'm tired and I just feel like sewing. I have recently acquired a very fancy little Juki sewing machine, I think it's called, um, which I am so in love with and I've only had a very quick little play with it. So today I'm hoping to put it to the test and whip up a little replica top of this one that I have here. This is just a very cute little cotton top that I've had for a couple of years now and I love it and I'd love to make a similar style in some of this beautiful see if I can get it without ruining everything oh can't make any promises <laughs> in some of this beautiful striped green cotton so that is the plan let's get started So we have our front bib or yoke, it's the front little section and then coming off that section will be the little side panels so that is obviously where the sleeve will go. Now I haven't cut out, um, oh and that's the back, so a little less scooped in the back, more boat neck style and then more scooped in the front. So the front section that's gathered and the back se section that is gathered and both the sleeves I haven't drawn up a template for because I'm just going to purely do it on measurements alone because they're all just rectangles the sleeves don't have to have like your normal like arch for the shoulder because it's technically a drop shoulder so it's just going to be a gathered rectangle with a bit of bias tape at the end so let's cut out some fabric and start sewing on our New sewing machine! Me, 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 me. Please don't fall on my head. <laughs> ah. Excellent.
just finished up with the front and back like center panels very cute very nice so i just need to overlock all these edges before i attach the side panels but i don't know where to put my overlocker machine because this bad boy takes up the whole desk now so i'm gonna try and figure that out ending mm. up could do that or did that the girls are very snug but they're fitting i have three pedals under this desk now so <laughs> yes it's um I'm trying to figure them out by feel i'm pretty sure that's the right one yes So far, I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Um, so I've just put it all together. Essentially, just need to sew up the sides, chuck the sleeves on, do all the bias binding, hemming, blah, 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 blah. So while constructing this little beauty, um, I started having some ideas. The creative juices were flowing. And I just want to add some details to it. I'm, I like to add little features to my clothing. So I have a thought. And I'm just putting this out here. I kind of want to add some cute little, I guess, what would you call it? Ribbons? Little ties, essentially. So I've just cut out some little 50 centimeter strips, um, 50 centimeters and three centimeters wide. And I'm going to attach them. I have to unpick what I've surged, but that's fine. It's all a bit of trial and error at this stage. So I'm going to attach these little ties, obviously, sew them in from the inside and then so they can pop out you know right side facing um but so you can sort of like tie this up and make it a bit tighter if you want it or you can have it nice and loose and flowy just to add a little detail to it i think it's gonna look cool i might make up the ties and just do a little trial before i start you know unpicking what i've surged and then so i'm going to probably do something similar for the sleeves as well so i've got these roughly done here So same thing again, so the, oh my gosh, <laughs> cooperate please. So the sleeves will sort of go on like that, you know, very bat wing, very loose and flowy. And then I think um, instead of doing like an elasticated cuff or just leaving like a plain cuff, I'm going to make a little hollow and be able to put some little ties on the sleeve. So then you could leave them, you know, loose and flowy, or you could tighten it up to have like a more fitted sleeve. I think that'll work. I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do like the little channel for the tie. But I won't worry about that now. I'm just going to power ahead, sew up the sides of this, surge it all, make the ties, and then pin it up and do a little trial run to see if I like it. But yeah, it's looking very cute. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm in frame. I really love how this top is turned out. Um, I'm playing with the little ties just to see if it's something I want to do. I attach them right here, which is like, you know, at the bus, just above the, um, the bus line, but I don't like it. I think it looks kind of silly. So I'm going to see maybe putting it a little bit lower. Okay. So I think I like it with when it's a little bit lower, so you can like cinch it in 
Where did the other one go? Oh, it's on the ground. And have a little cute bow. I think that's really sweet. So you can either have it flowy and big or like a little bit more fitted. Very cute. I like it. It's the next day. I got to a place with this top that I'm pretty happy with. So I added in those little side bows that I was talking about. So you have the option. So you have the option of either having it like a bit more cinched in or you can undo them and just have like cute flowiness, I guess. Um, so today the plan is to figure out what I'm gonna do with the sleeves, uh, with the cuffs, I should say. And then also I'm going to do the bias binding for the neckline. I did also start the second version of this top. This is just the front panel um, with this really beautiful cotton that I got from, I think the same shop I bought this from, but it was a couple orders ago. Anyway, it's just this really beautiful like hand printed cotton. And then I've just added this little double laid red muslin at the top and yeah. I think it's going to be very cute as well. So same idea, I'm going to do the little ties on the front and the back and then probably for the sleeves as well. But yeah, that's where we're up to. We're going to continue on our sewing journey today and I reckon we'll probably finish both of these today. Hopefully. I'm pinning the sleeves on this top now. Um, I really like how this is turning out and I think I might accidentally keep this one. I thought I was going to keep the green one, even though I still want to keep the green one, but I really like the pattern on this. But anyway, anyway, while I was putting this on, I thought I would just pop in again and um, talk about my new little Juki sewing machine. So this bad boy is like solid <laughs> compared to my little, I think it's a Singer Start, which is like the most basic model of Singer sewing machine you can get. It's just all plastic like exterior uh really good little sewing machine i've probably overworked it over the past few oh how long would it be four or so years now um i really put the hours in on that one so it was definitely starting to have some issues i was in the market of potentially purchasing a more professional sewing machine something with that's a bit more heavy duty um and this was actually a very generous birthday present from my partner um but i am incredibly <laughs> grateful for this and i know it's an absolutely huge privilege to have such a quality sewing machine um i've only really just tested it out like i've just been sewing clothing um there's all these different feet that you can use like for freehand quilting which i'm particularly excited about because a few years ago i was making like these puffer jackets so not your typical puffer jacket. It was like a all cotton, linen, etc., um, outer. And then I used wool padding for the insulation. And then I padded it um, and then I started doing some vests and I was just doing like the straight line, um, you know, what would you call it? Like thick strips of padding. But I really wanted to do like the cool, you know, swirling sewing. And I did try it out on my little singer and it did not go well. <laughs> so with this bow boy, it's got this attachment, which is just like a little metal ring, just, you know, to keep your fingers safe from getting in the needle. And you can just freehand quilt because this is primarily, I think, a quilting machine more than a sewing machine, but same functions. Um, the only downside of this, which I didn't realize obviously when I unboxed it because that wasn't what I was expecting, it was a surprise. Um, this is limited to just doing a straight stitch, which is pretty fine for me because, you know, most garments and clothing, you're only really using a straight stitch. Um, so you haven't got the option for zigzag or like invisible, se uh, invisible hems and that kind of thing, which is a bit of a shame, but, but, the times that I use those other stitches is very rare and I'm still going to keep my little singer start because it's my first sewing machine and I love it to death and I will never let it go but I can use that for say buttonholes because that's probably the only other function that I really used on that sewing machine so fatuated with this machine I just think it is something that's going to last a lifetime and the huntsman has just popped out oh my god <laughs> I just saw something move out of the corner of my eye. Oh no, he's gone again. 
Oh no. Oh god. Oh my god. Hey bud. Hey. I display you? Uh, do I just hold it the whole time? I don't think. Cool. And there we go. Success. Hopefully that doesn't block the light. We're all done. I finished making these two little peasant style blouses this afternoon and I'm pretty, ha I'm just looking at myself in my mirror because I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. And this machine was obviously an absolute dream to work with. I cannot believe how easily it conquered all the lumps, bumps, and other obstacles I put in its way. So I'm obsessed. I am so grateful to have this workhorse. I'm going to keep tapping it. Um, to have this workhorse at my disposal. And I think it's going to make sewing really enjoyable again. It's going to be an actual pleasure to sew again, which I'm really excited about. Um, and yes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you feel like liking, please do so. Subscribing if you feel like it and chucking a comment down below if you so please. Bye. I seriously love you.